Hey, what's up guys? Jack here with MTS, and I decided that today would be a good day to paint my APAC Pro here. Now at my new house in the basement, I'm gonna have an APAC Pro or some form of access point mounted on the ceiling. So I wanted to get a good feel for the painting process on an access point because I want it to be black and I don't wanna pay for a skin or anything like that. So I figured I could just paint it black. So I disassembled the access point here. I just used some plastic pry tools. Was able to pop the access point open, no problem. I'm going to save this piece this piece is the light diffuser, so you can still see like the blue light or the white light for the ubiquity status. So I'm gonna tape over this clear part and then just paint this. I'm gonna have to pull out the board because I'm gonna paint the underside of this and I don't want it to get into the network jacks or anything. I'm gonna have to sand down the top shell here because it is a rubberized finish. So I'm gonna sand this down and hit it with some paint. All right, now it's just time for a bunch of sanding. Okay, so now with everything sanded down and more roughed up, I should be able to put a coat of vinyl dye on here just because vinyl dye sticks to just about anything. So this will make it easy for an actual paint to stick to it. And if the vinyl dye ends up, you know, doing a good job, I'll probably just stick with the vinyl dye. So my can of vinyl dye is like empty, but I found this. Should I do a hot pink access point? <laughs> kind of tempted now. But uh, yeah, this is the just the basic black paint that I like to use. Um, now I gotta go hunt down another can of vinyl dye. All right, so I'm pretty sure I used all of my vinyl dye back when I painted my Noctua's, so we're just gonna have to use this empty can. Oh wow, it still's got some in it. All right, what do you guys think? Professional painter, yes or no? <laughs> One of the other great things about vinyl dye is that it dries in like no time, so within like five minutes, this thing will be fully ready to touch. And for the little puck on top, I'm just gonna have to go with the black spray paint. The bottom should be a lot easier because it is just, you know, the bottom. I don't need the greatest coat. And it also never had a rubber finish on it, so. Pretty decent first coat. I didn't want to put a ton of paint around the mounting ring area. And I don't really care about getting paint on the inside. Um, but yeah, I just wanted the port well to be painted and the perimeter. So we're gonna wait for these coats to dry and then come back and do this whole thing again. Okay, so within the time that I just painted those other two things, the uh, vinyl dye is already dried. Told you this stuff dries fast. Hasn't even been like five minutes. So. Now officially we have to wait for all the coats to dry because this is just regular spray paint. So this is gonna take some time. So my Flex HD access point, I pretty much always have the top little ring light. I pretty much always make that pink. So that one might be a fun one to paint pink. Maybe in another video, but I'm gonna go put another coat on this stuff. I do have the bottom done. Now the bottom I didn't do really anything super fancy with. I just painted it black and then clear coated it. I didn't bother painting the inside. Um, I don't mind any of these scuffs because, well, it's a bottom panel that's gonna be mounted to a ceiling. Um, I did tape off the main USB uh, secondary and reset hole logos, if you can see that. But so now let's get the PCB put back into the access point. All right, so we have our PCB back in place. Okay, so I have the access point all put back together and it is done now. It is now matte black, although it's slightly reflective because it has lots of clear coat on it. But yes, so very happy with how it turned out. It's all messed up on the back because I don't care to fix it on the back. This is gonna be mounted to a ceiling. I masked off the area with the, the main secondary reset and USB labels just because I didn't want to paint all of that. But yeah, so the access point turned out pretty good. Now let's get it fired up. All right, so we have the black access point here. We come into the Unified Controller, let's adopt it. And for MKBHD, you know what we have to call it. All right, so got it into Unify. Now we just have to wait for its connected light to change. All right, so with it being matte black, um, you really don't get any reflection from the light, so 
when you look at it like this, no light, you look at it from the side, you get the light. So it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I think it would be cool if we could still see the light while it was like this. All right, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this access point turned out. It's now matte black and now ready for the ceiling at the new house. Now I'm just waiting on, you know, the new house. But if you like this video, drop a like. Do you think Ubiquiti should make a matte black access point? Because I do. I think it looks pretty awesome, and I would love it if Ubiquiti actually made one. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.